The limitations that the Trump administration has placed on temporary protected status for migrants from Honduras and El Salvador may have lasting and unpredictable effects within those countries. The administration's argument is that they don't qualify under the 51 Convention. That is, they are not individual targets of persecution on grounds of race, religion, nationality, political opinion, or social group. Put together generalized violence with the climate stress on many farms, and you have a significant number of people who are not fleeing specific individualized persecution on race, nationality, religion, et cetera, but are having to flee for their lives. In our experience, we work at the International Rescue Committee from El Salvador through Mexico into the southern parts of the United States. And the reason people move on is in some cases for economic reasons, and in those cases they don't qualify for asylum status in the United States. But for many of them, the gangs that they are fleeing from operate not just within Guatemala or within Honduras, they operate on the refugee transit routes.